which serve to make the miracle more wonderful. You don't smell like what you've been through. Thank you. Mm. But I want to say this, and I'm, I'm, I'm coming to a close. God has his hand. I want to tell us, God has his hand on us and what we're going through. You may have cried, you may have wondered, but God has telling us this morning that I got my hand on your situation. You're not going to look like what you're going through. You're not going to smell like what you're going through. You're not going to be like what you're going through. Because I got my hand on you. Watch. He bring, he bring, God brings them out. The king sees uh, them looking just like 40 minutes. No effect of their condition on them. They look better than when they went in. <laughs> 28 and I'm coming home. Let me say this. Nebuchadnezzar, the one who threw him in, start to praise the God of the Most High Service. All right, all right, all right. Watch the text in 28. Nebuchadnezzar spoke saying, in the presence of the princes, the prime ministers of the state, and made the following confession to praise and glory the true God. Bless, watch this, blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He does not, oh, he does not claim, he does not claim his God. He claims their God. He realized that the God that he had the people bow to is not really the true and living God. When you hold to God's unchanging hand, and even in the midst of what you're going through, don't change your mind. Keep, here it is, keep your focus. Look straight ahead, don't look to the right, don't look to the left. Keep your eyes straight ahead for the God. Watch this. Who is this angel? Who is this angel? He says, who sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him? Who is this angel? Well, you look up earlier. I told you I keep a, keep a, a mindset. He said, and the fourth one looked like the son of God. In this verse number 28, he used the word angel. Watch what I'm telling you. This angel was Jesus. Watch this. Watch what I'm going to read to you. Make it understood that the angel, angel of God, presence. This angel was not a created angel. All right. All right. No regular angels are created angels or created beings. He was not created. He was already there. Watch it. He was already there. He was not a created being. And he's going to stand there wherever we are. He's there. Yeah. 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 One said, if I make my bed in hell, he's there. Yeah. If I make my mind my bed in the highest, he's there. Yeah. Wherever I go, he's there. Yeah. Jesus is there. Yes, yes, he is. Mm. This is Jesus. And then Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying, Blessed be the God of Nebuchadnezzar, of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent him who trusts in him. Mm. Watch this. The king was forced. Listen to this. When God blesses you, the, 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 the enemy will be forced to change his mind about your situation. Watch this. The king was forced to change his word. And instead of obligating, what's instead of obligating them to serve the little G God, he obligates them to serve their own God. Y'all should be shouting that one. Because when the enemy tried to get you to serve something outside of the real and true and living God, God will show the enemy that that's not who they are to serve. And he so watches, and the king looking at says, he frustrates his words. <laughs> he changes his words and said, we got to serve the true and living God, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. 
Oh, bless his holy name. Ah, the king changes his words. As I stated just a few moments ago, and he, they had, he had frustrated them. And he actually literally let them go. I'm going to show y'all something. In a minute. He lets them go. He calls them out of what they were in. He lets them go. And that they should not serve nor worship little G God except for their own God. Why? Watch this. This is the key right here. There was such consistency and firmness of mind. Their minds were not changed. They were consistent in serving a true and living God. They did not let their situation, their circumstances, change their mind and be inconsistent. They stay, I'm going to use I can see this word, they stay focused. Well, I think it's the reason I got to say and I, I got from somebody, I'm focused and I'm finished. You and I have got to be focused and not finished. We're going through, but stay focused. We're in that situation that we never experienced before, but stay focused. Focus and not finished. These brothers were focused and not finished. They were firmly in their mind that I'm not going to change our minds. They were such a test to the true and living God that they were faithful to Him. They did not change from serving him, they now change their mind. They say, God will bring us out. I don't know when, I don't know how, but God is going to bring us out. Why do I stand on that? Because the word of God says, great is he that's in me, that's he that's in the world. I am more than a conqueror. I and you are not just a conqueror. Yeah. <laughs> 
Stand on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This is our prayer. The hand of God. Can I just add? The hand of God is upon you. Can you do me a favor? Before I extend the invitation, can you look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, the hand of God is upon you. In Jesus' name. Put your hands up anyhow. Don't you come out with your hands up. 